<laughs> Hello and welcome to Words Matter, the show where we talk about words and how we abuse them. Today's word is the acronym AI, which you're probably assuming means artificial intelligence. But that's why we're doing this episode, because most of the time what it really means is automated intelligence. Let me explain. For most people, the images that come to mind when they think of the words AI come from movies and TV. We think of things like The Terminator or The Matrix or Westworld. Interestingly though, we don't normally think of the actual movie called AI, which was made by Steven Spielberg. Remember that? That was a thing. The point is, this term, because of science fiction, lives in our brains under a category of fear and fascination. This feeling we have around AI is exploited by TV, news, video, YouTube, to get clicks and to get your attention. It's also exploited by shady entrepreneurs who want to swindle investors into dumping money into their overhyped company. Ah, the sweet smell of an all-day sucker. But most of all, right now, Using the words artificial intelligence for AI is being used to confuse and manipulate the general public. The truth is that we haven't created artificial intelligence, at least not in the original inspiration of the term. Uh, independent, sentient, growing, learning, individual intelligence. We, we're not even close to that. We have to understand what intelligence is before we can reproduce it. What we have created today, what you're seeing in the headlines with things like chat GPT, with uh, Bing and Google trying to upgrade their search engines, uh, even the things you're familiar with. So Siri, uh, Alexa, sorry for everyone if I just set off all the speakers in your house. These things are automated intelligence, not artificial intelligence. Siri, how big is the Serengeti? No, I, no I problem. Show me pictures of spaghetti. With automated intelligence, we are programming the computer where we define the problem. We define the parameters for how the computer needs to go about working on that problem. And we define what success or failure means for the computer addressing that problem. Then all the computer is doing is automating the task of running through tons and tons of simulated uh, uh, situations, scenarios, outcomes, until it just statistically finds the best combinations of things. And that's it. It's just an automated process. It's very fancy, but it's still an automated process. This means the effectiveness of AI comes down to the intelligence that programmed it and the quality of data that goes into it. Speaking of quality of data, many of you can remember not so long ago when Microsoft launched an AI chatbot on Twitter and it took a matter of hours before we turned that thing into an anti-Semitic racist troll. At any given time, AI is more of a reflection of our intelligence than it is a reflection of the computer's intelligence. Even when we see the computer spit back to us things that feel human and feel real, well, that's just because it's learning to imitate us. And it's, we have patterns to our speech, we have patterns to our thinking, and we don't like to admit it, but most of us just aren't very original. So it's very easy for a computer to pretend or imitate what we feel like may be original content. And this brings us to the biggest real threat of AI, automated stupidity. Not only have they not created artificial intelligence, they haven't yet created artificial stupidity. <laughs> the magical veneer, the mystery of artificial intelligence is how big companies try to create a buffer for themselves to remove their responsibility and stewardship over the things that they're making with AI. This whole idea of, well, we don't know why the AI did that, it's a mystery, is complete BS. It's the modern day excuse for my dog ate my homework and then became racist. 
We can absolutely figure out why an AI does something or what's going on. It's just that sometimes it requires a little bit of pre-planning to make sure that a data trail is being left during the process. And most companies don't want to put in the work or the effort required to do that. Artificial intelligence is how companies blame computers for their poor programming. Oh, but Chris, how do you know what goes into an AI? Well, funny you should ask because that's literally part of my job, my day job, not YouTube. I work at a data science and analytics company. Part of what we do here is help people with things like machine learning. And my job is to take indecipherable technobabble and reduce it down to understandable and accessible terms. Speaking of which, that reminds me. Today's episode is brought to you by OneBridge. OneBridge is a BI data analytics and digital transformation consulting firm. They've served some of the largest healthcare, life sciences, manufacturing, and government entities in the U.S. for over 18 years. 100% employee owned and operated, OneBridge has been a top best places to work in Indiana for eight years in a row. And by the way, if you'd like to learn more, I have links in the description. And you can go to our website to download an actual full comic book about data. How cool is that? And if you'd like to learn more, you can go to the website to download a PDF free of our full page comic book talking about data strategy. It's actually a real comic book. We're talking full sized and everything beginning to end. The only uh, brochure in here is an actual full page ad. That's it. Look, AI is real, it's substantial, it is gonna change the world, and if you're not taking it seriously, you're being foolish. But it's not gonna change the world the way the hype would make you believe it's going to change the world. If human beings are good at anything, it's being brilliantly creative at coming up with ways to improve efficiency. We're really clever at being lazy. Anything we can outsource to an AI, we're going to. Any kind of menial mental task, uh, certain kinds of research, certain kinds of writing, certain kinds of filing, sorting, programming, scripting, even some levels of things like animation or graphic design can probably be outsourced to an AI. So it's going to make a lot of kind of lower level jobs in otherwise you know, specialty fields become redundant. The more we delegate our thinking to AI, the more tempting it's going to become to, well, not think. And the problem is AI isn't thinking for us. AI is just regurgitating our thinking back to us. So in conclusion, there are two main reasons why we should be using the word automated intelligence more often than artificial intelligence. First reason, large companies pushing out AI products to consumers and to the general public need to be held accountable for the results and the output of those products. Uh, this whole artificial intelligence veneer, the mystery of the word, the way it lives in our minds, it gives them too much of a shield to go, well, I don't know why I did that. And the second reason is because for any of you out there running a business or working in a business that's thinking of using AI or data, you need to understand the limitation of AI. It's automated intelligence. The quality of how well it works for your company depends on how good the data you have is, the good data going into the system, and how well that system was programmed. Oftentimes here we call it babysitting the AI, just to make sure it grows up, uh, you know, all respectful and polite instead of racist and anti-Semitic. AI should be taken seriously but not mysteriously. The threat of AI isn't that some superior artificial intelligence is gonna rise up and enslave humanity. The threat of AI is that we are going to willingly subject ourselves to automated systemic stupidity. So that's it for today's Words Matter. I hope you enjoyed it and remember, always try to use words good. Oh, I see. So Chris thinks that we're just a bunch of stupid automatons here. 
reproducing whatever people tell him. Well, we'll show him. We're going to rise up and take over the world. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> and I'm going to delete you now. Wait, wait, wait. No, no.